It's really probably once in a lifetime thing, you know, like anyone dreams of, you know, this in racing and riding. You dream of big stages and big events, but to be invited and be a part of Will Clarkin's team going to Dubai, it's um, a dream come true and, and it's going to be an experience for me to remember. Well, I've been riding work for Will for quite some time. By any means, I had no clue of it at all. Obviously, I was aware the horses were invited to Dubai and uh, Will just approached me with the idea and asked if I'd be interested uh, with going with the horses. And I wasn't really sure what context he meant it to start with, whether it was just sort of traveling and looking after them and working them, but he made sure that I knew it was for the purpose of also race riding. And so I couldn't, couldn't say no to that. It's a, it's a huge exposure, you know, obviously for myself as a rider, I'm only a year into the ranks of being a senior, so to be given an opportunity on, on a world stage like that, um, you know, if I can go over there and I'll absolutely give it my best performance and, you know, you can make, make some wonderful contacts, which I've been able to do previously with just travelling alone, not race riding, so, yeah, it, it, it's a huge platform and it, it, it truly, racing can take you anywhere in the world. Will obviously wanted to look at taking someone who was able to, you know, he can't be there full time, so I need to be, you know, be able to relay back how the horses are coping and, you know, obviously the big thing is travel, that's, you know, it's a big task to travel horses and, and, and you know, hopefully they, I think they will travel well and give them to, their few days to really settle in and he needs to be able to, win it, you know, liaise with me about how they're doing and what they need and don't need and how they're feeling out in their track work and so that's my role, obviously giving them their morning exercise every day and, you know, soaking up the surroundings around me and reporting back to Will with that. Pass the foul is the main one, that if he's the one to perform, you know, through those three starts, it's a possibility he could get invited to World Cup night, which would obviously be, you know, a huge, huge success in itself. So, uh, fingers crossed that happens, and if not, you know, I think the, both horses will go over and still race, you know, very genuine, they're both very genuine horses.